Hello everyone! A lot of interesting news awaits you today. Subscribe and hit the bell button so that not to miss out latest videos. Write in the comments, does Chavi's roster need Messi or will he become an obstacle to the development of a new project? And of course, support us with a like. That is it. We proceed to start. Let's get going! Premier League clubs don't want to sell their players to Newcastle. They have no wish to create another strong competitor. Xavi wants to return Francisco Trincao to Barcelona ahead of schedule. He currently plays for Wolverhampton on loan. Mohamed Ihatarin, whose contract belongs to Juventus, wants to end his career due to prolonged depression. In 2019, he lost his father. Paul Pogba wants to return to Juventus. He is willing to receive less salary than in Manchester United. An important stipulation is that Juventus must make it to the Champions League zone at the end of the season. Sergio Ramos will return to training sessions with PSG. He is expected to be involved in action at the end of November. Guardiola met Lewandowski. Do you think Pep was convincing Robert to perform for Manchester City in the future? Bernardo Silva will not be available in the next game for the Portuguese national team against Ireland. The player has muscle discomfort. Liverpool wants to sign Jude Bellingham. The Reds will try to get the Borussia midfielder in January. Conte wants to see Juventus midfielder Weston McKenney in Tottenham. Van de Beek and Phil Jones want to leave Manchester United in January. Both players are not satisfied with the amount of playtime. Garth Bale may return to Tottenham during the January transfer window. It could be a one more loan deal. Friends, how do you like Neymar's new haircut? It seems someone loves Batman here. Brandon Rogers remained the main favorite for the Manchester United head coach job in case Solskjaer gets sacked by management. The best FIFA Football Awards 2021 are to take place online on January 17, 2022. I stopped thinking a lot about the Ballon d'Or. I would rather concentrate on something else," Robert Lewandowski said. Milan has begun negotiations with Alessio Romagnoli to extend his contract. The management wants to reduce his salary from 6 million euros to 3.5 million. The player agrees on 4.5 million. Icardi did not cheat on Wandanara with China Suarez. They just met and he gave her his jersey, but there were only talks between them. We see the results in our polls that the younger generation are in favor of the World Cup every two years. The generation over 50 is against. Rejection is based on emotions, Arsene Wenger said. Ballon d'Or? My victory would show others that it's not only goals that matter most, Jorginho says. Solskjaer has reached his level. At Chelsea, if it's not working how he thinks it should be working, Abramovich sacks the coach. Jan Wright noted. Who will win the Ballon d'Or this year? I think it will be Jorginho or Messi," Andrei Shevchenko said. Chelsea and Man City are leading the battle for Dynamo Moscow footballers Zaharian and Tuykavin. Benfica is not interested in MTT and Samuel has no intention to play in Portugal either. Super League? The future of soccer is going ever more towards a European approach compared to national leagues. Chiellini said. Conte banned players from having ketchup and mayonnaise at Tottenham. He told that some of them were overweight. Gerard's move to Aston Villa has been agreed. Rangers will receive two, three million pounds. PSG footballer Aminato Diallo was taken to the custody on suspicion of organizing an attack on her teammate Kiero Harmawi due to competition within the squad. Ho wants to poach Liverpool sporting director Edwards to Newcastle. Benzema could perfectly well be a Ballon d'Or winner. What he has been doing for many years is simply amazing, Rakitic stated. Barcelona is about to send Alex Collado on loan in January. Benzema will not be excluded from the national team of France, regardless of the decision of the court in the Valbuena case. Ansu Fadi's injury was not so serious. He will miss less than three weeks. You didn't play. You were injured. You did make the trip to Bordeaux on the last game. Whether you go and see your injury there, there are no worries, but stay focused on PSG and your adaptation. Do everything so that you shine here." Jérôme Rotten shared his opinion on Messi. Travis Simmons can't renew his agreement with PSG, as Raiola once guarantees that the 18-year-old midfielder will be included in the main team. 
Messi trained with no pain with the Argentina national team and may start the game against Uruguay. And now we are to dive into the main news of the release. PSG players Lionel Messi and Sergio Ramos haven't yet become friends, Lucky reports. It's noted that Ramos quickly became friends with many footballers of the Persian team, but he did not manage to achieve the same with Messi. Even with their relationship being not that bad over the years, you can't just erase 10 years of classicals just like that, said a source familiar with the situation. We are recall that Ramos performed for Real Madrid from 2005 to 2021, while Messi represented Barcelona from 2003 to 2021. Dani Alves won't be signed by Barcelona, Marcus states. The Catalans rolled out the option of the Brazilian returning to the team as a footballer. The team's newly minted head coach Xavi and his staff aim to provide more playing time for the youngsters. However, Alves may be invited to the club for some other position in the future, given his reputation and qualities. Earlier on, Dani offered his services to Barca, willing to join the Blaugranas from January 1st. Barcelona defender Gerard Pique, who is recovering from a Salias injury, is forbidden from being interviewed on popular Spanish TV talk show El Automigado next week. This decision was made by the new head coach of the Catalan club Xavi, Cope reports. The source states that Xavi wants the player to appear less often at public events that have little to do with football, and to focus more on the club's matters. Barcelona technical secretary Roman Planes announced his desire to leave his post. In the light of such an occurrence, Xavi wants to see his friend and former teammate Carlos Puyol to take this job. It's possible that another legend makes his return to Barca in the near future. Lionel Messi may well make a sensational return to Barcelona in 2023, according to Marca. The Spanish publisher makes its statement based on three points. Messi never wanted to leave Barca. He agreed to a 50% pay cut and could play for Barca even for free, if asked. Messi is unhappy at PSG. He hasn't scored a single goal in Liga 1 this season and is heading to Argentina with the first call, while not being fully recovered from injuries. The appointment of Messi's close friend Xavi to coach Barca could make a huge impact on his return. Consequently, Messi could return to Barcelona in 2023, when his contract with PSG expires. However, the legend will be 36 years old by that time. Lionel Messi deserved a farewell fitting for the best. Now Barcelona must think about how to get Lionel back in 2023, noted Victor Font, who lost to Joan Laporta in the presidential election. So, do you believe in Messi's great return to Barca in the summer of 2023? Write in the comments below. Friends, watch the suggested videos from our other projects. You will definitely appreciate the content there. It was Football News. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.